and kill her. And she seen me on the car. She we, she just drove down the hill with me. I absolutely had it. And when she jumped on top of my car, I threw it out the window. It, when she couldn't produce it and then produced another pink slip. I wish that it would have been given to a military family that really would have been blessed because that was my whole intention of selling it. If this is what she does for veterans, then I, I would hope that she wouldn't help anybody else from this point on. I thought the plaintiffs were very smart in that case to not give their full purchase price. price for the car until they had the only piece of legal value that showed that they actually own the car. And I think that this is also how a lot of scams can get started by your example with Kevin's car was perfect. You can say anything you want. You can draw up whatever you want on your own. But unless you have the sole document that the legal proves world on, that considers proves ownership. that proves ownership, yeah, right. then I wouldn't give them my money. Of course not. Of course not. It got done. And you're right when people are buying a used car from someone. It is really important that you have proof of title, clean title to a car before you turn.